Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to set up your audio between two PCs for a two PC streaming setup. So let's start off with the gaming PC. So you have your tower, you have your Wave XLR, and then you have your microphone and your headphones, along with GPU. So those are the main things you need with your gaming PC. You also have your line in, input. So those are all important to using the Wave XLR to get correct audio. Now with your streaming PC, the things that are going to be important for that are one of these two items. So these are two different types of capture cards. So this one is an HD60 and this one is a 4K60 Pro. So with the Pro, that one actually gets installed into your motherboard, whereas the other one is kind of like a separate external unit. And then, of course, you have your line out, which is also very important. Now, the reason why your line out is important on your streaming PC is because that is going to transfer the audio. So like think alerts stuff like that over to your gaming PC so that you can actually hear it. All right, so now how are you gonna set it up? Now you are going to use the included cables for your Wave XLR and connect it to your gaming PC. You're gonna install your GPU into your motherboard. Should already be there, but just in case you're building your computer right now, there you go. Headphone and microphones, those you just plug into your XLR, which then goes to the gaming PC. Pretty easy. Now, to connect it to the streaming PC, you will need an HDMI cable. And with that, you are going to connect your graphics card from your gaming PC to whichever capture card you are using and you put that into the in port. Now, that's how you get the audio to get to your streaming PC into your OBS or Streamlabs, whatever you're using. Now we need our audio to come back to us in our gaming PC. So that is where this 3.5 millimeter audio cable comes in. You're going to connect that to the line out of your streaming PC to the line in on your gaming PC. So this is kind of like a little diagram I came up with to visually show you how the audio is getting connected to each other and how it's actually working. Now, this is how my PC is set up. I actually have an extra little device, which is the Go XLR. I have this Go XLR connected to my streaming PC. Now, pretty much everything else is the same that we just talked about. The only difference is you are connecting your Go XLR to the streaming PC. Previously, we were using the line out of the streaming PC. This time, we're going to use the line out of the Go XLR because the Go XLR is basically working as a Wave XLR where it is the audio hub for your computer now, instead of your motherboard. If you're using a setup like this, just do the same configurations that I just told you about, but with the Go XLR, just use the line out on that device. All right, now we are going to move to the software side of things. Here we have the Wave XLR software. So this is kind of where all the magic happens, where you set up your audio inputs and outputs, and that is how you get everything to work. Now, as you can see, I have my Elgato Wave XLR, so this is my microphone. I have my voice chat. This is basically going to be like my Discord. Then I have my browser as an input. Now you have your system audio. This, I typically have all of like my main audio 
from the PC going to this input. So like, think game audio. And then this is the really important one. For you to be able to hear what is coming from your streaming PC, you're going to need to put in your line in input. This allows you to hear things that are coming from your streaming PC. So for example, I am going to play something from my streaming PC so you can actually see the, the audio levels change. That was the sound of a murloc. <laughs> As you can see with this line in, it's very important to have so that we can hear our streaming audio. Now down here for your outputs, you want your monitor mix to be your headphones. Whatever sound output you're using, just set it to that. And then for your stream mix, you're going to want to set it to whatever your capture card is. This will basically send all of your audio from your gaming PC over to your streaming PC so that OBS can actually pick it up. Now, sometimes I have an issue with the Wavelink software, uh, like when I turn my computer back on or if I put it in sleep mode. I do notice that sometimes I deal with some audio issues where like some input won't change if I change it or audio isn't coming through, all you have to do is just open task manager and restart your software. So just end task and reopen the application. I've found that that works for me. All right, so now we are in OBS. Now with OBS, you wanna make sure your scenes are good, your sources are good, and then you wanna make sure your audio is set up. We'll go to audio. And for me, I have four different inputs. I have music through the GoXLR Mini, system through the GoXLR Mini. Think back to what I was saying about the wavelength, where I was having like certain audio come from certain inputs and having control over that. Similar thing with OBS. So with my Go XLR, I have different inputs for that. Now, this one is very important. You want your game capture, whatever uh, capture card you're using, have this as your mic, one of your mic auxiliary audio inputs. Very, very important. This is going to, if you can see down here, that's what this input is so this is giving all of this is transferring all of my gaming pc audio over to my streaming pc audio and allowing obs to capture it and then i just have a mic for my go xlr um because sometimes i like to use a separate mic for if i'm working on sewing stuff over there um yeah, so that's what I have it for. Now, I just want to stress this. You do not need two XLR inputs. You, you don't need one for each computer. You just need one for your gaming computer, and that should allow you to do everything that I'm showing you. Now, this is your audio stuff, and as a little tidbit, I want to show you something. Now, for your streaming and recording, I can't change it right now because I'm currently recording, but for your audio tracks, if you play music while you are streaming, you do not want that music going to your Twitch VOD. So with that, you have these audio tracks. What I do is for my streaming track, I have it on one and all of my audio is going to that. Like, all of my audio. But for my Twitch VOD track right here, you click this box to activate it. And then what I did is I put it on track two. Now with that, what you do, here I'll show you, is advanced audio properties. 
When you have it set up like this for your audio tracks, when you are done streaming the VOD that's going to post to your Twitch account, it's not going to have the music in it. So if you don't want your music to be in recordings or your Twitch VODs, make sure that's unchecked. All right, guys, so that's going to be it. I hope this video was helpful for you and maybe answered some questions that you might have had. If you have more questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and see you next time.